Hi everyone, it's your boy Sammy Caps. In today's video, we're gonna review the new skill system UI and the many benefits that I feel are gonna be experienced by not only the new player, but also seasoned veterans of Path of Exile. I mean, players that have thousands of hours. You are gonna benefit from this new skill system UI coming in Path of Exile 2. So we're gonna take a look at that in this video. Now, if you wanna hit the ground running when Path of Exile 2 launches on November 15th, the early access release, then hit that subscription button because this channel, I promise you, will provide all the PoE2 updates, contents, new information, closed beta, you name it, it's gonna be here. So hit that subscription button. So when Path of Exile 2 Early Access launches on November 15th, you are gonna hit the ground running. All right, let's get to the spicy details. Before we begin, I just wanna add that all this information is based on things that we have seen either through live gameplay or documentation provided by Grinding Gear Games. There is still a lot of information that is to come. So this is based on what I currently know. Now, if you hear something or you disagree with something that I'm about to say and get into, please jump into the comment section because at the end of the day, one of the main reasons why I created this channel is I wanted to provide information and talk about video games. And as we all know, information is king. So get in there and add to the sharing of information. Okay, now the new skill gem system does not rely on how many gem slots you have in your gear or weapon or what color combination you have. You are not restricted by these conditions anymore. In Path of Exile 2, skill gem slots are all white, including supporting gem slots. All skill gems can be six link. Now, we do not start off with six links. It looks like we will begin our journey in Path of Exile 2 with three links. As far as how to get six, it may be tied to character level, or it looks like we'll have to earn it through a drop in the game. I'm still not 100% sure on which is the answer. So if anyone has some concrete details that you can validate, please make sure you get into the comments section and let us know. Either way, we do not start off with six links for skills. We start off with three. Also, skill gems are now weapon class locked. We have skills for each weapon type. The amount of red, green, and blue support gems you can use are dictated by the amount of points you have for each attribute. For every five points, you get one support gem in that corresponding attribute. And let me explain. If you assign 10 points in strength, let's say, you would be able to use two red supporting gem. Five points into int would give you one blue supporting gem, and so on. How does this change the experience for players in PoE 2 compared to PoE 1? Firstly, there is no need to change and shuffle gear around based on the amount of gem slots and color combinations you have. No more trying to accommodate this through having to change your skill tree, taking less appealing affixes in your gear because it's a six link. Overall, it's just a better built system that will foster stronger builds. And for the new player, well, in PoE 1, you have to quickly learn how to attain a higher link item or how to craft one. You also need to have the knowledge to create a build that could complete the content in order to attain the higher link item. This all requires the player to understand the mechanics of the game. It requires knowledge, and that knowledge can be daunting for a new player. A six link item is much stronger than a four link item. Not having the higher linked item makes your character weaker and not as strong. If you're not equipped with the knowledge, you are stuck with a less efficient and weaker character. This greatly impacts your experience. Well, in PoE 2, that is all removed with the new 
skill gym system. It will be easier to equip the skills you want, which in turn will make your character stronger. No more waiting for that six link item to drop anymore. It looks like you just have to grind the game to work your way up to a six link system. As an example, in my latest SSF run in the Settlers League, I didn't get a six link to drop until I hit level 83. Yowza. If you're a seasoned Path of Exile player, you might be saying right now, yeah, Sammy, sounds good, but you said our attribute points affects how many support gems and which ones we can use. So now I have an annoying task of changing my skill tree in order to accommodate my support gem requirements, and that will lead to potentially refunding of skill points, which could potentially break my build, and that will st stop 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 i hear you but it's not that complicated anymore in poe 2 you see you can now change attributes on your skill tree on every travel node without it completely breaking your belt it's that easy other positives with having the capability of stacking attribute points on every travel node is we do not have to rely on stacking those attributes on our gear. For example, if you are a strength build and you need some int because you wanted to balance your build with some blue gem skills or because of a weapon attribute requirement, one way was to stack int on your gear or reassign skill nodes. Although this worked, you were in essence robbing Peter to pay Paul. I personally feel the new skills gem system will foster more well-rounded builds because you will not have to sacrifice an affix in order to accommodate skills. The new support skill gem system is super new player friendly, in my opinion, not only for the reasons mentioned prior, but there's also a recommended support gem UI that highlights recommended support gems. For whatever build you're playing, taking the unnecessary guesswork out of what works for your build. And another enhancement for new players, which I feel greatly reduces the barrier of entry in Path of Exile 2, is the in-depth information provided to players in-game. For example, in the skill tree, we will get instant feedback on our skill node decisions and how it impacts our DPS or build through simply clicking on a skill node and holding down shift. You will be provided with the changes that specific node will have on your build. No more guessing. Will these add more DPS? What impact does this node have on my build? The guesswork is removed as the game will provide you with instant, useful information. I truly feel what currently exists in Path of Exile today, all the talk about the barrier of entry being high, you need a PhD, you need all these third-party websites and all this kind of stuff, all that, we're learning more and more that, in my opinion, is going to go away. I truly believe that the barrier of entry in Path of Exile 2 for new players is going to be much lower than what currently exists in Path of Exile today. Now, we don't know everything. So again, this is speculation on my part. I can only go about what I know of right now, but I would love to hear your comments on how you feel this new skill system UI. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you feel, if you're a new player, do you feel this will help you? Do you feel it will reduce that learning curve for you? I would love to hear it. Like I said earlier on in my video, one of the reasons why I created or wanted to create a YouTube channel of course, I love talking about video games. I eat, sleep, drink it. That's I, I love talking about video games. It's so intriguing to me. I'm a gamer myself, and so I love talking video games, but 
I also wanted to do it because I wanted information to be shared, whether it's through my voice or whether through it's through all the comments that are done on my videos. So get in there and share your knowledge. I would love to hear it. Um, the one thing that I really do want to validate, and I wish I had more time to do it, was the issue about when we get, when we go, sorry, what is the process from three link to six link in the game? Is it tied to level or is it tied to a drop in the game? I suspect it's the latter, but I couldn't validate it. And if anyone is 100% sure and you can validate it, please help educate me uh, so I can help educate others through my videos and get in the comment section and let me know. I would love to hear it. I truly do want to know the answer to that because in all the videos I watched, there was um, different information as far as I couldn't figure out level wise if it was tied to anything. So I suspect it's the latter. Something's got to drop in the game where it'll say, okay, you can now have four link capability, but confirm it guys. All these things that are being into Path of Exile 2 and a lot of the noise is how difficult, how slow the game is. And I'd like to spin it the other way around because I think the star of the show with Packs of Path of Exile 2, outside of the gameplay, the combat, the mechanics, which already you can see are going to shine, I want to focus and highlight that another star of Path of Exile 2 is how this game is going to appeal to a wider audience because the barrier of entry is easier. And when I say easy, I don't mean that it's a lesser of a game. I mean easier in a good way. And I hope that makes sense. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Get in the comment section. And by the way, if you want to catch me live, I'm currently running an SSF run. Whew, are we on a struggle bus right now in Path of Exile? But I want to raise this and mention it because starting November 15th, obviously, Path of Exile 2 Early Access will release. I will be there the minute it launches all weekend long. So come and check out my live streams. The channel name is Sammy Caps. We live stream on Twitch and YouTube as well. Same channel name. Come and check me out. We'd love to have you. We have a cool, chill community. Come over and say hello. We'd love to say hello back. All right, everybody. That'll do it. Hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.